Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to some more Totally Accurate Battle Simulator fan suggested battles. Now remember, if you have any battles you want to see, make sure to drop them down in the comment and then we'll put them in a future video. So, today we've got seven-ish battles. I might put a few more in just depending on how we play around with the different units that have been suggested. But I hope you enjoy the video and if you do, don't forget to drop a like so I know that you want to see some more Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can keep up to date with all my future videos. Because the next one is going to be absolutely awesome because I've been set a challenge by one of you guys. So make sure to subscribe because then you'll definitely get to see that one and it will definitely be worth it. So, let's go on with these ones. So the first match we have is 20 Firework Archers versus a Dragon. Now I think we know who's going to win this one, but it should still look pretty cool. So, we need our firework archers, and as always, we're going to set them in lines of 10, because it just looks a lot neater, so it works. And then we've got a dragon. Where's the dragon? There it is. Um, I'm thinking of starting it quite close, because it gives them a bit more of a chance, because I think they're just going to absolutely dominate it. So, let's put him right up, so as soon as he breathes fire, he's hitting them straight away. And let's go. Let's do it. Yep, pretty much. We do have a flying Japanese dragon, though. And the dragon fell off the side. Bye, dragon. And the last guy's gone as well. Um, mate, you okay? He's not okay. Yep, just as we thought, though. The red team won. The firework archers. I don't really think the dragon stood a chance, but it was quite cool to see a flying Japanese dragon. It was pretty cool. But let's move on to the next battle. So the next one we have is 50 Potion Sellers versus 9 Jarls. So, where are our Potion Sellers? There they are. And that was 50. That's a lot of Potion Sellers. But we're going to put them in anyway. We'll do them in lines of 10 as always. And I still keep putting them where I can't actually put them all in a nice little row. Don't know why, but that's what happens. So we have got our 50 potion sellers, and now we need the gels who are, if I can find them, there they are. And that was nine gels. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Strange amount, but let's see how it goes. I don't actually know who's going to win this, because they are going to throw a lot of them. And obviously they do actually do damage. But I don't think they're going to do enough damage to Potion Sellers to take down all of the Jarls. Because they're just going to keep getting back up. Although they are just falling over. So it depends whether they can actually work out where they're going. Because we now have one just walking away. And I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> we'll focus on the actual main battle, shall we? Rather than the ones over in the distance. I think we do have some dead Jarls, though. I think we have one. And the potion sellers are actually hitting each other as well, which isn't really helping. But I think the potion sellers might actually have this, because the Giles are just walking away. Come on, Giles. Come on. Okay, I think... What have we got? One or two left? We've got two left. So, I think the potion sellers are going to have it. Which I'm actually very surprised about. I thought the Giles would have gone, gone straight in there and just won it. Which is very interesting. It is very interesting doing the fan-suggested battles because, obviously, I don't know what to expect of what's coming up. Any battles that I do, I sort of have an idea of how each unit is going to act, but you guys come up with such good suggestions that I just never know. So, yeah, the potion sellers actually won it, which is very interesting. But we shall move on. I could have put them closer. They might have had a better chance, but we'll just move on from that battle. So the next one is... 80 headbutters versus one jaw. So there's our one jaw. And now we've got our headbutters. And that was 80. 80 headbutters. Okay, <laughs> this is going to be quite a long time. Or maybe I should do lines of 20. That's if I actually put them in a straight line, but I didn't. But we're going to do lines of 20 just to neaten it up a little bit more. Because otherwise it'll be way too long. They won't get there in time. And one more line. Come on, one more. There we go. So there's 80 headbutters versus one jaw. 
Let's see what happens. I think the headbutters are definitely going to have this one. Surely. Surely they're going to have it. He can't take down 80 people. I mean, if he does, then he may actually become one of my favourites. No, he can't. <laughs> he definitely can't. There is no way he could take down that many. That was just way too much to handle, weren't it, mate? I must say, I do like his outfit, though. He is an awesome-looking unit, but he didn't win. Let's move on. Let's just get rid of him. He's embarrassing. We'll move on from it. So now we've got 15 ice archers versus 15 firework archers. So, let's do our lines of... Oh, let's do lines of five, maybe, actually. As soon as it's 15. Let's see if I could actually put in lines of five. So we have 15 ice archers. And then we need 15 firework archers. Now, I think the firework ones will have it. Because, obviously... The Ice Archers, they have to keep shooting in order to freeze the unit and then do damage. Whereas these guys, obviously, shoot them, they go flying off, and then they die from the explosion. So, let's go. Let's see who wins. I think it's going to be fireworks, though, because that happens. I do love watching them fly with the fireworks. It just looks so awesome. We do have quite a few frozen units, though. But we only have, is it two... Ice archers left and quite a few firework archers. And I think that's going to be the end of those guys. Yep, that was the end of those guys. They just. It was too one sided, really, I'd say, just because of how their attack works, where it pushes them away and they can't keep firing. The ice archers really do need to just keep up the attack. But it was still pretty cool. That was quite a fun one. I like testing out the same sort of type of units, where they have slightly different attacks. So that was actually pretty cool. So what's the next one? The next one is 15 Scarecrows versus 100 Halflings. Okay. That's going to be quite interesting. Let's grab our Scarecrows first. So we have 15 Scarecrows. Now we're going to put them all in a line. Oh, I went way too many there. That is 15 Scarecrows. Now all we need is the 100 Halflings. So, this is going to be very interesting. We'll, we'll do them in lines of 20 again, just because otherwise it's going to be way too far back. And I will keep putting the extra one in each time. There we go. A few more lines. One more line. There we go. Awesome. So, we have 15 Scarecrows, 100 Halflings. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Whoa, we have got some huge lag, so I'm going to have to slow it down. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to handle the lag. Have they upgraded the crows? I don't remember the crows actually having the team colour on them. I think they may have actually upgraded them since I last really used them. That's quite nice with the red on it. That's quite a nice looking crow. It's a shame that we've had to have inside motion. If I release it now, because there's some dead... Yeah, it's okay now. It's not that bad. It's still laggy slightly, but... It's bearable. Now, the halflings do actually have people attacking the scarecrows. So, I think the halflings might actually win. And it's now gone crazy again. So, we're going to have to slow it down. These create so much lag, these ones, where they create multiple units. I don't really know where to look, though. All I see is just crows everywhere. Lots and lots of crows. And the blues are just tucked in there somewhere. Should we go in? We do have them alive, but I don't really know... Right, this... Have we only got two Scarecrows? No, we have no Scarecrows. And the Halflings actually won it. I wasn't sure on that battle. That could have been... It must have been close. How many... I mean, we don't have many Halflings left out of the 100. That was actually a pretty cool battle, and I love this new look on the Crows, if it is a new look. Or I've just noticed it for the first time, but it looks really good. That looks awesome. But we can't sit and dwell on one battle. We have to move on, otherwise the video would be too long. So, let's move on to match number six. All archers versus all shields, including hay balers. So, we need our archers. They haven't said how many to put in of each type, though. That's the problem. So, I'm not really sure what to do here. But... 
we don't have any archers there. We don't have any archers there. We do there. So I'm thinking maybe 10 of each. We're going to set them back because I don't think they're going to win. So we're going to give them a bit more of a chance. So we'll set them back slightly. What else do we have? We have the snake archer. Put in 10 of those. And then we have the ice archer. Which is there. And then we have the firework archer. And 10 of those. So that's 40 units. We're not going to go into special. Well, secret. Because they haven't said to use those. So I'm guessing they mean to just use these initial ones. If you are watching this and you do want me to use the secret ones as well. Let me know down in the comments. And we'll put them in for the next video. But for this one, we're going to have these 40. And then we need to do all defensive units, including hay balers. So we're going to do 10 of each of those as well to make it fair. I say fair, it's not very fair. There's going to be so many more of these. But that's the only defensive unit there. Then the next one, nope, that's halflings, hay baler. So we have the hay baler. So we'll put in 10 of those. Do we have any other defensive ones here? We don't really. I mean, the potion ones kind of are defensive. Oh, no, they didn't say defensive. They said shields, didn't they? So that's fine. That's even better. That means I don't have to try and pay attention to what is considered defensive. Now, we are going to put in the knight because they have a shield. I know they are a very attacking unit, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. Then we've got two lots in here. I don't know why I'm bunching them all together so much. That's kind of going to maybe be annoying, but we'll see how it goes. Then we have a shield here. And I think that is all of the shields. That is. So we have 40 versus 60. So it's not that far apart. The money is a hell of a lot more on the uh, defensive shield units. But that's just the way it falls sometimes. Let's find out who wins. Let's go. Come on, archers. Come on. I don't really know what's happening. There's people flying everywhere. There's people frozen. There's a guy just randomly flipping out at the back. We do have our knights have made their way in. And as I said, they are a very offensive unit for a shield guy. So, I think the archers are going to lose just purely because the knights got there. Yep, so the blues won it. The shield units but i think that is probably because of the knights because they are just way too powerful i think so what we're going to do we're actually going to take out the knights and see what happens there because they are way too attacking for my liking so that's a little bit fairer with the cost as well that's pretty close so let's see how this one goes without the knights now loads of those protectors got frozen straight away oh those fireworks, because the people got stuck underneath it, just absolutely made them fly. That is crazy. Now, we do have frozen people, and we have someone just break dance in there with his shield and dying, and we are now having our archers getting attacked. Okay. Now, can they... No, they're not going to get the shots off enough. These ones with the shields and weapons... Just seem to absolutely dominate. They're actually pretty good against the archers then. Really. We also have a hay baler that survived as well. And a protector. Look at you go. You're like the weakest little unit ever. Oh, bless him. Bless him. Awesome. That was actually a pretty cool battle. That was a lot better once I took the knights out. It was a lot more interesting. Got quite close that time. But now it's time to move on to the kind of last battle that we're going to be doing in this video because there's some different variations that I want to use in it so it's kind of the last main the last fan suggested battle it's kind of the last fan suggested battle but we're also going to be adding on a few little bits at the end just to make it a little bit more interesting so we have got one cheerleader Huacha. I don't really know how to pronounce this unit I've never really thought about how to pronounce it but it's this awesome thing and it's it's really cool 
I've done this with the cheerleader before, but not for a video because I was just testing out the cheerleader with different units. And I must say, this may be one of my favourites, so I'm so glad you suggested it. We're not going to put in too many cheerleaders because if we do, it lags way too much. So we're just going to put in 10 cheerleaders with one of those and then they want that to go up against 30 protectors. So, where are our protectors? There they are. Now, I'm going to move them. Should, let's move them to there. We'll put them there. It should be okay. It's not a bad distance. It's not too far away that they don't have a chance, but, but it's not too close that they're just going to dominate. There's our 30 protectors and our cheerleader, Huacha, if that's how you pronounce it. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, let me know. Let's go. Now, this is awesome with the cheerleader because obviously it fires loads, but because of the cheerleaders, it reloads very fast. So it's just a constant stream of attacks. It is absolutely awesome. And I think, did I put him too close or has he got it? He has got it. They got very close though. Wow. I did not expect him to get that close. That is actually really cool. But obviously that was against weak little protectors. Not that interesting, really. So, let's put them up against some knights. Let's go against some knights. We're going to put the knights there. And we're going to do 30 knights. Now, I think the knights will actually end up having this one. Because of how powerful they are. But, it depends whether they get pushed back. Let's go. Oh, I do love that. Once those cheerleaders get started and it starts firing. Yep, and the knights made it in way too fast. So, let's just end that there because it's just going to be cheerleaders dying. So, I'm thinking, what if we put in 30 knights, oh, but we move them quite far back? Because that gives him a bit more of a chance to get going. Because obviously the cheerleaders have to activate him first as well for him to really take effect. So... It's very interesting to see, and it's now starting to lag because of the amount of arrows. Look how many there are. That is just crazy. So, yeah, he does actually win if you set them further back. I think I just put them a bit too close. But it is very powerful, and you can see the amount of arrows. Look at them. That is just crazy. So, now it's time to test him out against some of the big units. Obviously, it's what we have to do. Let's go for, should we go for the Ice Giant? Let's put in five Ice Giants. Let's go, let's do it. Come on, mate, I'm rooting for you against the Ice Giants. Wow, he actually killed that one very fast. He's, he's just absolutely annihilating them. He just took out two at the same time. Okay, he's actually in very high contention with the Firework Archers. And the Mace Spinner Tornado for my favourite unit. He is awesome. But there is something else that I want to try. And unfortunately, we have to get rid of him. So, goodbye, mate. So, the thing that I wanted to try is, if I could find it, the Catapult. Because if that starts firing fast, that is just going to be absolutely awesome. We're not going to be that cruel and put him up against five Ice Giants. We're going to put him up against... Should we do the protectors again? Let's do the protectors again. Let's put in 30 protectors. Versus one cheerleader catapult. Let's go. Look how fast this firing. That is awesome. Look at it go. Wow. Okay, that could demolish things very well. Now, I want to also know... If you put in more cheerleaders... Does it fire even faster? So, let's put in another 10 cheerleaders. Let's go. I'm hoping it does. It does. That is firing very fast. Oh, that is so cool. That is so awesome. Now, there's two more battles that I want to do. They both involve getting rid of this thing. But they are two different units. So, first of all, we're going to test out that. With some cheerleaders, because if everything else fires fast, that should be awesome firing fast. So let's go with that one. 
Let's do this quickly. Look how fast it goes. That is so awesome. Oh my god. I think I've just found a new favourite thing to do on this game. That is so cool. That is incredible. Alright, before moving on to the very last battle, just purely, I have to test it out. Let's put in a catapult as well. So we've got both of them firing fast. Let's go. Come on, start firing. It's not... Okay, so they're all cheering on the catapult. Well, I was not expecting that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So what we're going to have to do is split them slightly. I didn't want to do that. I need those two in. Put those two there. And then if we put another 10 over here. And we put this thing down here. Will they then start to cheer that this time? No. So they do actually agree that the catapult is more powerful, obviously. Because they always go towards the most powerful unit. A bit like the healers. They go towards the most powerful unit to protect it. So... The catapult is actually more powerful than that, apparently. But now we are going to move on to our very last battle. And that is going to be using good old Zeus because of his attack. I just want to see what that looks like going very fast. Let's go. Come on, Zeus. He's being cheered. Look how fast he fires. Okay, he can annihilate a lot of stuff. All right, so while I'm doing my outro, what we're going to do, we're going to whack in some more. We're just going to... Let's just dot them around. I know it's going to lag like crazy. But let's do 100. Versus Zeus. Let's go. Let's see how it turns out. Because this is just awesome. But I really hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe to my channel so you can see some more awesome videos. And hit the notification bell to keep up to date with everything. This has been absolutely awesome. And also, if you have any battles that you'd like to suggest, even if it's challenges, make sure to put them down in the comments. We'll put them in a future video, and it'll just be absolutely awesome. Peace out. <laughs>